Good morning guys, it's James here from not quite such a sunny Southampton Boat Show today. So we're on day four of the international show here in Sunseekers home show, which is at the Southampton Boat Show. So today we're gonna to have a look around the 68 Manhattan with a 2022 spec. This one's got a few custom changes to the interior layout. So I hope you enjoy me today looking around, sharing her with me. So here she is, a float in the lineup. Covered a couple of these on the tour before, and the outside is pretty much the same as the others we've done before, other than this particular one finished in a lovely stone grey gel coat finish here. Hard to see in the overcast murky light, but you can see how that rail white top sides there contrast really nicely into this grey. And then we've got a black boot chop stripe running just above that and come forward. Hopefully you can just about see that tucked down there on the water. We've got, of course, stainless steel detailing in the window line there and the new carbon fibre engine intake vents that are also seen on things like the Predator 55 Evo. Absolutely fabulous boat. Got a number of these here in the UK. Work really nicely as a charter boat down in the Med. Four cabins plus two beds in the aft cabin here make it a very much an owner operator or crewed charter proposition so on the platform here we've got a 450 kilo hydraulic high low unit so we could take up the 395 williams across the back there and then our new beach club arrangement which is in this aft section which we'll pop open in a second have a look uh, hidden in the locker here running transverse across the boat you've got space for two sea bobs which are very easy to lend, launch and recover. Down from deck level. Uh, optional crew space in the back here. So this particular one finished with those two single beds. We've got washer dryer facilities in here. Of course, lots of storage and then enclosed heads and what have you. So even for owner operators, it's a handy storage space, somewhere to come and use the facilities without having to go up into the main boat itself. If you've been in the water, we just pop this aft locker open and you can see how that works. So we just come round to the panel here, find our buttons. So here it comes up. So integrated into the underside of the lid on the beach club is a nice big soaker shower, as well as the pull out handset that everybody is used to seeing on boats. And we've also got some cool lights in there as well, so let's bring that all the way up. Come have a look. So there's your shower. So nice little lights, they're very pretty in the evenings if you're doing a bit of swimming after dark. And then we've got space in here, there's a dive bottle rack, little pop-up teak step, place to store things like your masks and snorkels, beach towels up the top and what have you. So it's a great space connected to the water here and you can see the access into the sea bob locker there at deck level. Letterbox passerelle in here coming out over the top of the tender, so very easy to, to board the boat from the med. We come up in the cockpit here, lovely big centerline table. Of course, the two external leaves here fold in to give you more of a coffee table feel for those that want a bit more space around the table and an informal sort of coffee style setup. A bit of spare space in the corner here where we can do a little bar or really works well with those sort of big bean bags on the floor and you can see all the doors stacked back here on the starboard side to give a huge opening into the saloon which we'll go and cover off in a sec um, optional arrangement here for the wet bar in the cockpit so we've got a good size refrigerator there's of course a little sink above there and a storage cupboard on the end lovely feature stairwell there up to the flybridge and then we've got things like platinum mediterranean pack so as always we've got things like the stern docking winches we've got the additional lower cleats down there upgrade on all the aircon system on this boat tropical spec uh, this is a third station control with a zenta joystick we've got engine start and stops up here as well teak laid side decks as an option which this particular boat's got spec with just come up the guys are just finishing cleaning ready for the start of the show you see the lovely in the murky light here we can see the low level led side deck lights there you 
So upgrade on the anchor, so we've got a 40 kilo delta anchor there, 90 meters of galvanized chain. And as per most other sun seekers in the range, we've got a partitioned area to put fenders in here, nice little handle here to tie the lines off, so you're not having to climb in there upside down to retrieve them. And then a split arrangement with the sunbed here, these two backrests lift up. This is a, uh, an escape hatch from the cabin downstairs, so that cushion pops out if you ever need to. And then we've got that nice private seating area up forward with the pram hood style adjustable frame here. You can see drops down on the track behind the seat, but that gives you somewhere to sit out of the sun when you wish. Of course, opening table here to give you, again, just like that aft cockpit table, number of different configurations. There's a sanction spotlight up top there and hard to see really from here, but this is a optional hardtop arrangement. Perhaps we'll see a better idea of how that works when we go up on the flybridge. Let's head back to the cockpit and we'll start upstairs. So you can notice we've got handles everywhere, very safe if you're walking around forwards or backwards on the steps. We've got the nice little rubber inlays on the teak. And we come up top to the flybridge. So you notice as we came up, we've got the wet bar right in front of us. That's obviously really handy if you're using it as a crude boat, because obviously they're not interrupting the guests coming up for serving. So we've got a fridge, an ice maker, a griddle, and a sink. Griddle being mains powered, so we're on a 27 kilowatt generator upgrade as the boat's also running a quick MC216 gyro, so there's two of those on board for stabilising. Uh, right, so on the aft section of the flybridge here, this is the optional L-shape seating. So the standard boat would have two sun loungers in here, but with the additional seating you gain a huge amount of storage in these lockers. You can see lift up handles underneath, and then we've also got this big opening table. Very versatile space. If you're having a party, you can obviously open the deck up here as a bit of a dance floor. But great for dining. Certainly as a charter boat, you've got space to put some freestanding director's chairs here. Of course, all nice feature. LED lighting down there. Upgrade on the fabric here. It's hard to see in the camera, but this is a, a textured vinyl type fabric, which works really nicely in this sort of gunmetal color. So up on the flybridge here, this is the, uh, the hard top painted in LSA black. We've got an optional electric sun canopy there and they've tied it in lovely painted aerials. Up top there, that's a 64 nautical mile, four foot halo pulse Simrad radar. Again, we've got feature lighting in here. We've got the little dimmable spots up in the roof and the whole center section here opens up to give you sunshine when you wish. Helm is to starboard. We've got that lovely helm and co-pilot seat. These bolsters lifting up. You want to give yourself a bit more room to stand up when you're docking. So from the helm, we can see straight down to the tip of the bathing platform there. We can see all the way down the side of the boat to the bow. So these are very easy to maneuver. I've got a video on my channel showing one of these in close quarters. Little pop-up acrylic screen there for a bit more protection from the spray and what have you if we're ever sat up here on not such a nice day. Uh, upgrade on the nav kit, so this is NSS Evo 3 displays in 16 inch form, both upstairs and downstairs. Remote uh, wireless charging point for your phone. We've got a DSC radio over here. If I just sit down at the helm, this is at my eye line, you can see we've got great visibility, panoramic view around the boat. Nice little banker switches here, controlling the main systems on the boat. This is our autopilot, engine displays, and of course the upgrade on the steering wheel here. So this is the Isota steering wheel with the multifunction buttons. Just means controlling the screens, haven't got to reach forward to them all the time. Everything's fingertip control on here. Really nice when you're at sea. As with all our boats, proportional thruster controls, which means we can lock them off on the pontoon when it's time to come and go off the berth. And then nicely to hand here, right next to the helm, we've got our throttle and gear controls and the optional Zenta joystick. So these work much the same as an IPS style unit, 
pushing it forwards and rotating the top, you can actually steer the boat. It's using thrusters as well. Very clever system and we've got controls for each of the helms with this joystick. So coming across opposite the helm, we've obviously got this lovely big sun pad arrangement that also comes around in front of the helm itself there. So what would otherwise be dead space. Great social area to sit out and chill. And then we've got this lovely big seating area, loads of speakers everywhere, um, Sonos zones throughout the boat with a 4G router system linked in downstairs on the saloon. Fantastic place to spend time out on the water. So let's head back down to the cockpit. You notice we can come down here as we come down forward. Don't need to hold on to anything. It's a very secure footed ladder system there. So this is where the main changes are on this particular boat. So we've got a custom interior, slightly different to those boats that I've covered before. So we've widened the galley unit here, which has given us space in the end for Amelia dishwasher, would otherwise have been over there, and then you would have had not quite so much cupboard storage space. But in doing this, we've gained further depth in this cupboard, and we've gained a little bit more storage in the galley here for provisions, this one under the sink as well. Cut the reset here. We've got a thin pan drawer underneath that Miele oven and we've got the four burner top, top there as well. So this one's an extractor. That's your Wedgwood T-set. And then across on this side, this is an optional cupboard again for a little bit more storage long-term food storage so fridge upgrade so we've got the fridge in the top with two freezer drawers beneath very handy again for extended time on board you can see they've got these lovely big heavy duty catches on so that nothing comes open at sea tuck around this side of the bar we've gained the depth to have the wine cooler in here so the standard boat would have glasses in here but actually this has been done slightly differently beautiful stone work surfaces here and the tv has now moved so the standard boat would have the tv here as a fixed unit this particular boat spec was something a little different so the tv's hidden away under the top here so i'm just going to pop that up and you can see how it works so 55 inch OLED TV, of course linked into the Sonos system. So it's got an Apple TV app. And we can do further upgrades to things like satellite systems if you have the need for it. So for those that don't like TVs on show all the time, this is just an alternative solution, giving you the ability to fold it away when not in use. You've still got all of the sofa area here say if you had a high-low TV in a box behind the sofa there it would obviously be the wrong side for the majority of where the seating is in here so this solution works well won't be for everybody I say the standard setup with the TV out here may be the preferred choice very much down to the individual owner to get what they want and their own different usage so I'm just going to drop the TV back down of course you can see this table on a lovely stainless steel high-low leg there, so we can adjust that up and down in height. So if you want to turn it into more of a coffee table style feel or bring it up with the extended top on it, that then gives you more of a dining table style setup. Beautiful chest set on top here. The boats have been exquisitely dressed here at the show for us. So we're very neutral colors on this boat. She is actually available as of this current day at the show, although availability is changing by the day. So. Come and talk to us if you're interested in something at this size. Lovely feature lighting here through the ceilings, again all dimmable at night. And in doing that high-low TV box there, we've gained now the option for this additional sofa. So certainly for a boat here in the UK where a lot of time is spent inside, this is a real kind of comfy lounging type setup akin to more what, perhaps what you might find at home. And across here on the port side, we've got that lovely chaise, couple of steps up. So big panoramic view out through the windows. If I come sit over the side here, you can see exactly what I'm seeing looking around. 
wonderful place to spend some time. So cross opposite, obviously we could sit here when we're running quite happily and we've got the helm on the lower starboard side. We've got some storage underneath. It's like the Blu-ray player there for the AV. Main breaker panel here, tucked under the helm. So we've got buttons easy to find and then the main systems are down in the engine room. Engine start stops down here out of the way. Sit at the bench seat helm position here. Again, you can see the view out forwarded through the windscreen. Nav kit and everything's nicely to hand, much as it was upstairs. Just a mirror image with the addition here of an iPad mini for controlling the AV system. And this is our Sunseeker CM8. Again, covered lots of these on the channel in the past, but it's just giving our electrical systems and tank monitoring and what have you around the boat. Autopilot control, thrusters, again, your throttles and what have you. And the VHF is tucked up here on the wall. Uh, so we've, as well as the radar, the chart plotter, we've got a fish finder module. We've got the AIS ship identification system. So it's a comprehensive nav kit, nothing else needed other than a chart card for your final destination. Helm seat itself, so we've got a lift up bolster here, just gives a little bit more versatility depending on how you like to drive the boat. And of course, nevertheless, a crew door here on the starboard side. So if you're entertaining in the saloon here, you've got the ability for the captain to get out on the deck or just a little bit more ventilation into the boat. I like to use it if we're coming and going from a mooring on a not so nice day because we've got my throttles down here, I've got my thruster controls and I can stick my head out of the window there just to see what my clearance is like. Big blinds on the windows here, so we're running metal Venetians on the windows, and then we've got a huge black mesh window cover that goes around the front for privacy and to keep the heat out. Accommodation wise, you may have noticed when we came in, so we've got a separate stairwell access here down to the master, we'll cover in a sec, and then we're gonna go forward to see what the guest accommodation is like. Again, lots of upgrades on fabrics and upholsteries and carpets here, really working nicely on this boat. The wood is a high sheen satin eucalyptus here, beautiful graining through the panels, everything matching up and you've got this lovely patterning that runs through the doors on the lower guest cabins here. So three cabins forward, starting off here on the port side, so we've got a pair of fixed single beds, very versatile, I said earlier for charter, given that you can get eight guests on board with the two crew. We've got Storage everywhere, cupboards in the wall here. There's a little bit of storage under the beds. Lovely little feature, headboard lighting there. Works really well. You can see for this particular cabin, we don't have a bathroom. This is where the different main difference is with the 76 yacht. So we have the two guest cabins across the hallway here sharing this center bathroom. And this is a mirror image cabin to what we've just seen. You can see 24 inch TVs up on the wall there, same for that other cabin we've just been in. So coming out of the cabin, we've got a shared bathroom set up. So we've got storage cupboards beneath. These are all high-low storage cupboards, much the same. Finishes throughout the boat. Again, soak a shower up in the roof there. Separate handset, vacuum flush toilet system. Good sized bathroom, say so servicing the two center cabins here. And then we come forward into what would be the VIP guest accommodation. So as you come in on the left here, we've got a private bathroom, or should I say heads on board to keep the nautical sea dogs happy. So center line double as always for a guest cabin forwards. And we've got our high low storage cupboards down the side, we've got pull out drawers here, little mini vanity station. Some quite funky LED lighting again through the ceiling here. Big opening port light windows as well as the signature hole band windows themselves. Lovely gun metal finish on the shelving there's a custom finish for this particular boot. Good size wardrobe tucked over that side. In terms of AV, again, we've got the big speaker system with a Sonos zone. We've got a 43 inch TV up on the wall there. So coming aft, up the stairs, we've got a private access here to the master cabins. One of the big selling features of this boat for those maybe with kids 
and lots of friends coming on board, just somewhere private for the owners to get away. So they've got their own stairwell access down to a midships master cabin. Very quiet down here, great sound insulation and a number of different configurations to suit all different markets and usages. So we've got low level cupboards and the pull out drawers as always. Lots of these on the channel I say so very very easy to go and have a look around these in a little bit more detail today. It's just about giving you a brief insight to this particular boat in case you're interested in buying her. Again, very nice finish on the lighting here. Picture frame style windows here with the LED feature lighting behind. This particular one with the two chairs and the table, which is the standard layout with the option here for a sofa or the sideboard for those needing a little bit more long-term storage on board. Giant 55 inch TV there. We've got the Sonos sound bar underneath. Beautiful porcelain upgrade on the bed. Sorry, on the TV surround here, which you can see above and below. We've got some storage beneath. And of course, a nice ensuite. Electric heated towel rails. And a lovely big shower compartment there. You can hear the echo of me walking around here. Just giving a feel just how big it is in this boat. So we badge her Manhattan 68. She's actually 69 foot seven overall, just over 17 feet wide. And we're weighing in about 37 tons. So she's quite a substantial piece of kit. Last by no means least, we're gonna have a look at the machinery space. So tucked in the floor below here. Excuse, this one's full of bits and pieces, so I'm not going to go in today. But we've got a pair of the larger 1200 horsepower engines here. And I'm just going to cut a picture in here from another boat to show how this all works in here. But we've got things like the electrical systems up on the back bulkhead there. We've got the gyro stabilizers and everything else down here. It's a very compact but well-engineered engine space. That's an Eichenbar water maker there means the boat's very practical for long-term use away from the marina berth for a few days at a time. So there you have it. I'm just going to allow the guys to finish off their cleaning. So but as you see here displayed, she's 2.63 million pounds X tax. Very, very high spec for one of these. Very little kit to need other than a, maybe a backlit name, tender, safety kit, chart card, that sort of minor provisioning. So I say she is available, a new build running well into the 2022 season now for this model, but we kept this one back for the boat show here. Unique opportunity, so if you'd like to know more about her, as always, it's james at sunseekersouthampton.com or mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven. 686587. Hope you've enjoyed that one with us today and we'll be back tomorrow with another one.